Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today I have a different video. Today I'm going to be filming a mukbang or a mukbang, however you pronounce it. So today I have Indian food as you guys can see from the title. I have all my food right here and I'm just going to get right into it and then show you guys what I have and then I'll go into the story on how ridiculously hard it was to get this food. So. My main course is um, the buttered chicken, and then I have some basmati rice, and then I have some garlic naan bread. I got like a lot of that, so this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like pizza, um, but it's not pizza. I got some Samoas. Actually, did I actually did try to film this video already, like I said, in the car, so I did try all of this already, but... This is what those look like, and they're just filled with chicken and vegetables and stuff. And then I got two, um, I forget what kind of sauces these are called, but there's a green one and a red one. I just tried the green one, and it's really, really good. So let me go ahead and eat some of this really quick, and then I will go into talking. This is really good. I'm really hungry, too. try it with some bread. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to eat it, but mm. this is really good. It tastes like kind of like flatbread, but it's really, really chewy. Um, I was chewing a piece in the car and my jaw like started to hurt a little bit because it's like so chewy. You like really have to like use your mouth to work with it. Really good. Um, the reason why I got Indian food was because I was watching some mukbangs and um, a lot of people did mukbangs on this and the butter chicken. And I watch, I watch, um, what is her name? And this is just water. Uh, her name is Fat Chick or something like that. Um, that's not, that's not, I'm not calling her fat, but um, that's what her name is. Um, I can't remember her name, but I will list it down below. I love her mukbangs, and she actually just did a mukbang with this food, and that's where I got my inspiration from. And then I've watched, like, a few others. Um, if you guys want to, um, if you guys want any suggestions on you know, different mukbangs, like, to watch. Like, I will list some of my favorites down below. Um, I like um, Kimmy. She's Korean, which I am Korean as well, so I love to watch her mukbangs. Um, I also like Chunky, but Funky. Or Eat With Chunky. Love her and her vato. <laughs> um, who else do I like? I love Trisha Paytas. I know not a lot of people like her, but I do. Um... I really like her mukbangs. Um, who else? Oh, I, there's this other girl. I just started watching her, so I can't remember her name, but she's really nice. Or she's really cute. I like her, too. She eats a lot, and she's so tiny. Um, but, yeah. Oh, okay. hi. So... Uh, I'm like so hungry and excuse my setup I was that hungry to where I just did not even care this is so good but so many calories I don't even think I'm gonna be able to go to the gym I'm gonna be so full I usually go to the gym around like 3, 3.30 and it's 2.31 so probably not gonna go okay so basically to find this food I looked up Indian food near me 
Um, I was reading all the reviews and everything like that, and I came across this. Now, this is called, um, what is this called? Shit, I forgot. Um, Bombay Grill. Yeah. So, it's in, um, Waikiki in Hawaii, obviously. And it is in the Alamona Shopping Center. Um, in the mall, basically, in the big mall in Waikiki and I could not find this place for the life of me I was getting so frustrated I you guys I was literally in that mall walking around for an hour trying to find this place and I was getting so mad but I was determined to get this food because like I said I was watching mukbang last night of this food and I was craving it um I was so mad like I told the lady when I got there, I was like, I have to look at, I, I even called them and they text me directions on how to get there. And they were not helpful at all because it's so confusing. Um, and then to top it all off, she told me that they're actually closing down the restaurant. And I'm like, like in two days or something. And I'm like, well, it's a good thing I came today because if I had done all that work and they were closed, I would have been pissed. Because then I wouldn't even have gotten the food. So, in these Samoas, there's peas and chicken. Yeah, peas and chicken. And a flaky pastry dough. That's what the description was. So, yeah, I'm really sad. This food is really good, but I guess if I want this food again, I'll just have to try, you know, another restaurant that has it. Um, I also wanted to get the paneer, I think it's called. It's like a spinach with like cheese in it. I really wanted to get that, but they didn't have that there. Um, and I've been planning this mukbang for a while because I knew I wanted to try this food. Um, if you guys know me, you guys would know that I don't really like to try food. Like, I'm very basic. Like, if we go to a restaurant, I'm the one getting chicken strips and french fries. Like, literally, that's what I get because I don't like to try new things, but... Um, ever since I've been watching like the mukbangs, I've been getting like, I don't know, or maybe it's just because I'm older, but yeah, these are really, really good. I'm glad I got these because originally I just got the butter chicken and the non, the garlic naan. I wasn't going to get these and then I was like, well, since they're closing, I might as well, you know, um, this food was also really expensive. So not only was it. 25 minutes away from me not only did it take me an hour and 30 minutes to find it but it was expensive so this plate right here you get to choose from two different types of curries but I didn't really want to try any of the other curries so I just got two of the butter chicken and then it comes with rice so this plate right here was $15 and then the garlic naan um, you get I think four to five pieces she said and those are four dollars for the garlic and then for the regular is three dollars like they're really gonna charge me a dollar extra just to get garlic I could have brushed on garlic myself you know um but anyways it's worth the money so it's really good and then these samosas I think that's how you call it sorry if I'm pronouncing any of this food wrong too <laughs> um but those are um four pieces for eight dollars which is kind of expensive but um I guess two dollars each so not really um but yeah this food is definitely worth the money um was it worth me wasting an hour trying to find it mm, no I literally walked past McDonald's twice and was about to just be like fuck it I'm just gonna go to McDonald's you know so I'm glad that I got it. I even had to call my neighbor and tell her if she can get my daughter from the bus because the bus was like right by her house. So I was like, I was, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it back on time. So I was even had to message her and be like, hey, can you get Sienna from the bus? Um, but I made it on time. She should actually be here any minute. This is just so good. Um, I almost want to try to like attempt to make this myself. The non bread. Um food's a little cold too because obviously I had to drive 25 minutes to get it <sighs> but yeah it was a pain in the ass to get this food you guys 
I didn't even get a drink because I was just so hungry. I just wanted to come up here and film this. So, I need to drink more water anyways. I was literally sweating, like, a whole bunch of people were, like, complimenting me on my makeup today, too. <clears throat> which, I didn't think it was, like, that bomb, but, um, I think my highlight's, like, super, like, intense today. Which is surprising, because I used the highlighter, the vanilla highlighter, I think it is. Um... But yeah, uh, uh, there's like, um, a lot of people were complimenting my makeup, like a lot of girls. And I was just thinking to myself, like, I hope my makeup doesn't look like shit. Like, I hope they weren't being sarcastic because it's so hot today. And I was like walking around outside of the mall. The, mall's, the mall is outdoors. And I was like so wedding. So I was like literally, like when I got into the car, I had like little sweat, like all right here, like it was insane like it felt so, I felt so gross like I was gonna just wear my makeup to the gym um I thought I was gonna be home a lot earlier just take my makeup off and then go to the or just leave my makeup on and then go straight to the gym but I just felt so gross even walking around when it was hot and I was sweating in my makeup so I'm definitely gonna take it off I normally don't wear makeup to the gym but I have to go grocery shopping today so you know um Okay, sorry, I had to leave. My daughter just came home. Um, what was I saying? I can't even remember what I was saying. But yeah, anyways, um, food is good. I definitely will be eating it again, probably from somewhere else, though, since they're not close. Um, I'm, like, getting really full now. I honestly thought, like, that this chicken was going to be a lot more buttery because in Amy's video I think that's her name um she was just saying it just melts in your mouth and this not really like that so I kind of want to go where she's going to get her curry I love watching mukbangs so that's why I decided to film some um I don't know let me know if you guys like these videos because I'm not sure if I'm gonna um, film again. I did film a Chili's mukbang. Oh. So, I don't know if I'm gonna have this one up first or the other one. I don't think I'm gonna post the other one because I wasn't wearing makeup. And look kind of wrapped, you know? But yeah. I don't know. But, um. This is the chimichurri sauce, I think it's called. This shit is... Oh, I just spilled it. This shit is bomb. Um, it was like halfway full though. Which kind of sucks. Because I can't dip my samosa in it. Mm. This was really good, you guys. I definitely recommend trying it. If you've never tried Indian food before. Um, <clears throat> there's actually a place closer to me that sells it, but I was reading the reviews. Um, it wasn't all that good. Plus, they don't have, like, the samosas or the garlic naan. They only have the buttered chicken. So, that's the only annoying thing is, is that if I do get this meal again... I'm probably going to have to go to, like, a couple different places to be able to get all this. But I really want to try that paneer stuff. Because it looks really good. I like spinach and I love cheese. I think it's, like, spinach with goat cheese. Or no, feta. Feta cheese. So, yeah. But. Yeah, I think that's all for today. Um, I'm getting pretty full. Probably gonna finish this non bread. And then that's it. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. And let me know if you guys want more of these. Um, give it a thumbs up. And also, in the comment section down below, let me know what kind of food you guys want me to try next. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking I wanna cook something. Uh, I am Puerto Rican. I'm half Puerto Rican and half Korean, if you guys didn't know. So, 
I definitely want to um, maybe cook some, you know, Korean or um, Puerto Rican recipes. I don't really know how to cook Puerto Rican food, but I'm sure I can hit up my dad and um, have him send me over something. <laughs> um, my mom makes this really bomb Korean chicken that I can make for you guys for one mukbang. It's so bomb. Can have it with like kimchi. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.